Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video we're going to be looking at voice callouts for a pot with ethos. So firstly, sorry if this video is not up to my normal standards. I've got COVID and yeah, it's not pleasant, but I still want to get this video out for you guys. So this video was a request from Owen J on another video that I made and he basically would like to know how to assign a position readout for your pot in ethos. Sir Andrew Newton, the amazing YouTuber, has made a, a video in OpenTX and he basically saw that but would like a version for EFOS, so that's what I'm going to do today. So let's head over to the desk and get stuck in. Right, so this is quite a nice simple one, which is handy seeing as I'm not feeling too great. Anyway, I'll turn the sound up now and what we're going to do is head into Logix, log, <coughs> Logix Switches. And we're going to create a new logic switch and we'll call this pot trigger. So basically what we want is when we finish moving this pot, we want it to read out the value. So we're going to use a delta function. So if we pop all the way down, you've got this delta uh, either way equal greater than x. So we'll select that. We're going to choose pot number two and we're going to select the value for um, how much it moves to one and there's one other thing that we want to change and that is delay before inactive i set that to 200 milliseconds you can see the check interval here is 100 milliseconds so it's double the check interval basically i don't want this logical switch turning off too early so that's what this is for so if i move the pot you can see the logical switch activates and then it goes off. So that's all good. We know what we're doing here. So next we're gonna create a special function and this is gonna be playing a value. We want it enabled and our active condition is gonna be our logic switch and our pot trigger. Of course, if you have more than one logical switch, they will appear in that list and you can choose the right one. Now this is what we need to do is long press this and invert it. So it will only read this value out when that is not true. So before I actually set the value, I'm gonna choose skip on startup because we don't want it when we switch the radio on. If, of course, if you did, you can leave that off. And now we'll choose the value and we're just gonna choose our pot. 93%. So all we need to do is move a pot. Zero percent. And it tells you the value of where Minus the pot finishes. 53%. So 64%. So there you go. In Andrew's video, he also made it so you can basically choose the range that you want to hear it from. And we can do the same thing in here. So if we head into our mixer, we'll add a new mix. We'll just make a free mix, stick it in the last position, have it always on, and we'll choose the pot as Minus the source. 29. I'll turn the sound off for a minute. Um, and then all we need to do is create a curve. So we'll add a curve, we'll call it pot value. And for the type, we just want a custom curve, a simple two point curve. And that's all we need to do. We can set our start value at zero and our end value at, Andrew had 10 in his video, but I'm gonna stick it at 100 yeah, because we have been a zero to a hundred range. And if I move the pot, you won't see anything yet because it's not been assigned, but let's back out of this. So if I move the pot, you can see it's going from zero to a hundred. Um, of course, in Andrew's original video, he was doing this for someone using an S6R receiver. And of course, for that pot to work properly, it needs this curve um, anyway, because it only works from zero to the 100. So if you're using it for that, that will be fine unless you obviously wanted a smaller increment on the readout. But uh, what we'll do is we'll assign this to a channel that we're not going to use. So might as well just go right to the end, stick it on channel 64. And then again, let's go back into our special functions. We'll edit, um, We'll edit this and we're going to read out the value from channel 64 this time. So I'll turn the sound back up now. So let's go to the middle. 
100%. There we go, all the way to the start. 0%. And all the way to the end. 100%. Of course, when you're outputting this pot to something at uh, the radio end, you would just create uh, another channel uh, if you wanted different values for the readout compared to what you're actually sending. So, for example, if this was being used for the um, S6R, so let's create a free mix. We'll put it after rudders. Uh, we'll call this gain because that's what it would be used for. We'll select the source for the pot. 69%. I'll turn the sound off again. Uh, of course, this time we will add our gain curve because it's the S6R, so we only go from 0 to 100. Uh, custom curve, two points. And then that would, of course, be on channel nine. I'll say that. Um, <laughs> it might not be. I'm not feeling too great. But I believe it's channel nine. So what we have at the moment, if we look in our outputs, we have on channel nine, we have our zero to 100. And if we went all the way to channel 64, we'd have the same. But what if we wanted a different readout? What we could do is edit our curve so we can set this to, for example, 10%. The problem is it with EFOS, it actually reads the percent part out. On OpenTX, it didn't. So if I turn the volume up now, we'll go all the way to zero. zero if I go to the middle, five percent, and to the end, ten percent. Which, if it didn't read percent out, would actually make sense. But if you wanted only ten points, what you could do is actually change the curve. Sorry guys, my head really wasn't in it. Um, so basically just to do the five step demo is way more complicated than just doing the extra steps uh, to have the 10 step. So to do five steps, you need to basically take off 33 each time. Um, so the middle is slightly wider, but anyway, a demo. So what we now have is a stepped output. Zero percent, 20. 40%, so you can do it and it will sound okay, but it is a bit of a pain with the curve. To be honest, I would probably just stick it at a 0 to 100 linear curve. It sounds fine and 100% makes a lot more sense. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you did like it, please obviously give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel, which will help other people see this video, but will also give you alerts to uh, new content similar to this, which you may be interested in. And please uh, click that bell icon as well to give you the notifications when the new videos arrive. Hope you all have a great time. Fly your models like you stole them. And I'll see you on the next one, hopefully feeling a bit better. Bye.